I love smart people. I, I love really, really brilliant people that go in and ask hard questions. And one of these new technologies that just came out, which I just think is so super cool, is scientists have built an artificial intelligence neural network machine learning system that can go in and take someone's voice and based on their voice, they can create a picture of what that person looks like. And I tell you, when I first read this article, I I'm pulling out my BS card. I'm like, get out of here. How are you able to do that? But here's what they did. If you've ever heard any of my talks about artificial intelligence and especially machine learning, it all comes down to data sets. If you have really, really good data sets, then you can go in and teach a machine anything. So what they did is they've taken millions upon millions of people's voice samples and they've digitized their facial recognition. The eyes, the socket, the ears, the face, all those different components of what a human face looks like and they trained the neural network. They said, if you hear these voice patterns, this is what they look like. And they train them on millions of different people. Millions of different people, voice and correlation to what they look like. And then once that neural network was trained, they now can go in and they can put in somebody's voice and it will create an image of what that person looks like. And I'll tell you, some of the initial results are pretty promising and pretty scary. And at first, I also said, okay, Cool science project, but when is this ever really gonna be used? However, what I really like about this is a couple things. First, we often, when we're dealing with threats, whether it's international or national threats to cyber security, we have a voice recording. We have somebody making a telephone call or we intercept a telephone conversation where they say, I'm gonna commit some terrible act at a certain location. The problem is, we don't know what they look like. We don't know who they are. We don't know their names. We just have this voice. So now, what if we could go in and take their voice pattern and we could now run it through this system and see what they look like? We could now build a profile, an automated sketch artist to see what's happening and what's occurring. I also like this when we're talking about online dating social media because we're seeing more and more people that are meeting people online, they're even having phone conversations, but they never met in person. So they don't know what this person really looks like or who they are. Now just imagine if you can go in and you have a child predator that's posing as a 16 year old online and we can get them to give us a voice recording or talk on the phone and we can run it through the system and see that it's really a 50 or 60 year old, that could also help start to cut down on crime. So I know I'm being a little creative here, but I just thought that was a pretty cool use of technology that I just wanted to share with you. And once again, I know AI is touted as the savior for cybersecurity, but I just wanna emphasize it's all about the data sets. This is an example where you can get millions of accurate data sets. My question is in cybersecurity, do we have that accuracy? Can we get such a big picture accuracy of that data set? Because without an accurate data set, neural networks and machine learning is not gonna be able to do a good job.